Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? I'm Wookie and I'm here with Zen. Hello. And we're back at it again with some more Dragon Ball Adventures. I took a slight break, so that's why there will be two videos going up today, but... Uh, this has been a while since we played this one, so I've forgotten completely how to play. So I remember I fell uh, down I a lot. I this game even existed, so that's okay. You know, we have multiple videos that are in circulation that at some point will be finished. This is one of them. Oh, look, it's Snow. Is that really her name? I don't remember her name. I remember the hat. And I also like how just happy she is right now. She seems just real pumped to meet Goku. I'm not from the Red Ribbon Army. Yes, they're bad guys. According to Snow, the Red Ribbon Army was forcing the villagers, okay, to work to find the Dragon Ball. Okay. What's worse, the mayor was being held inside Muscle Tower. Goku promised No that he would rescue the mayor, and he headed for Muscle Tower. I feel like at some point, that just skipped an entire thing <laughs> of what Goku was doing. <laughs> it's like somehow that went Doing from, like, reckless, Goku. It's like, alright, let me quickly remember how I, this fucking game works. Alright, that's the joke. It looks a lot like the Pilaf's Castle level. <laughs> it does look a lot like the Pilaf's Castle level. The Red Ribbon Army also employs fucking wolves <laughs> for their army, by the way. Alright, I remembered the kick and punch button. That the, that guy had a chance to shoot me and he stabbed me with a knife. I like how there are regular wolves and then also wolf men. I know. That's... What's the... What's the... Do they think it's weird? Is that like... What uh, is that to I, I them? Like, I like to think that the wolf men are furries, so that's how you explain them. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can Kamehameha. Oh, that's not the button to Kamehameha. There's the button to Kamehameha. Perfect. Oh, of course. I waste all my stuff right when these dudes come up. Uh, but yeah, I've never fully understood the disparaging things of Dragon Ball. Like, isn't... The, because the president is, the, is like a dog man. He's also the president of the world. Which I think they imply that he wished on the Dragon Balls to be president of the world. Right? That was always my one of my implications that somebody wished to be president of the world and so a dog. Me? I'm asking you to remember some old Dragon Ball stuff and something that's so obscure that that's... <laughs> it's hard to know. Um, but yeah, the, the world of Dragon Ball is weird because there's dinosaurs still living and then there's also... Puar is technically a cat, but also not a cat like Dr. Brief's cat. So what is Puar? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I don't even know, really. No, it's... Are, are these animals, like, I guess they're just a different race of people. But, and then there's, like, fucking dinosaurs that are just monsters. They're not people. So here's my thing. If Goku had... Uh, uh, I was gonna, but I was gonna say fall in love, but that's not what he did. If Goku were to marry a uh, wolf woman, would he be able to have kids with her? Because oh God, that's what I'm asking. Because I think they've I guess never. That depends on which Twitter account you ask that question to. <laughs> what I'm saying is, does Go does Vegeta's brother have sex with his wife? Because I'm not sure <laughs> how that well, relationship. Really yeah, because I've never been a hundred percent sure how that relationship worked out, but I guess it's not not all relationships have to be sexual in main nature. But for that one specifically, yeah, I've always maybe they're just, maybe they're just very good friends. You never know. I'm going to continue the Vegeta line. I will say that Vegeta was extremely shocked to see her. I remember that was probably the funniest thing about it was him going like, "Yeah, he oh. he was not into it." It's like I see you've decided to <laughs> combine. Oh, did that guy just shoot me? What an asshole! I guess he's not... Oh, I guess he had, like, a little last-ditch death attack. What a dick. Uh, what a dick. But I guess the idea is that Vegeta is trying to very calmly come to the understanding of, like, I guess I guess not all of us could find humans to find the one planet that had the human people in it. Which is also what Broly ended up. And then I haven't seen DBS Broly, but I assume that ends with him having sex with the green lady based on all the fan art that I've seen. <laughs> Get over here, knife man. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of questions that are left unanswered in Dragon Ball. And it's because, uh, Toriyama chooses not to answer them. <laughs> oh, was there a fucking robot in there? God. 
I also like that all these boxes are marked red ribbon to let you know that the red ribbon army was behind all the boxes. Get over here. Bunch of bastards. I'm not 100% sure if you're still here, Zen. Are you there? I'm here. I'm, I'm dealing with these very strange Dragalia idealists. Okay, so that's what I figured that you were doing. <laughs> I figured something has you distracted, and it's the chances are is that uh, people are not happy with you putting uh, it on the same level as Dokkan. Uh, literally, this thing. Dragalia, okay. This is completely off topic, but let me talk about this for a minute. Alright, go ahead and talk about this while I fight all these fucking wolf men. Go ahead. Alright. Dragalia fucking sucked for a really long time. Mm -hmm. And that's why it was popular for a very short period of time, and then everybody stopped fucking playing. Because that shit sucked. Is now it doesn't suck. Now it's pretty good. It's yeah. I wouldn't say it's incredible, but I'd say it's pretty damn good. As someone playing the it all the time, I will say it is incredible. From my standards, at least. For what okay. I want. Oh, it's Ninja well, Murasaki! I, I will call it pretty good. I'd say it's very solid. Mm -hmm. So you have you have people. The game has sucked for its entire lifespan until this Fire Emblem event started, and now people like it again. And you've got people sitting here waxing poetic about, like, Nintendo is the company of honor. <laughs> the company of dignity. It, well, it's really Bro, more that. <laughs> gaming war. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? What the actual thing is is that they don't want to be stigmatized with what actual gotchas do. <laughs> Which is why they ask, say, hey, cut that shit out. Like, <laughs> hey, can you just not be as that awful? Can you not be the scummy? The people are, like, saying, Nintendo really is all about the consumer. They're consumer first. And I'm like, bitch, they sold 14 different Wiimote attachments. And yeah. none of them made it work. Also, the fact that all Switch controllers are $80. For fuck's sake! They're $80, and they break for doing anything. They break doing anything, like... Again, Nintendo is such a scummy company, and, and they have been for so long. But because there's one article on the internet where they're like, "Hey, could you not maybe be like, can you blink simulator, please?" Yeah, can you not be full of shit for this one thing? And and then it's the company is still thing. like, I guess, <laughs> like they don't want to be. <laughs> like, get out of here, fucking bear. Yeah, it's just not, I don't understand it. Nintendo's so bad all the time about everything. But there's one game that exists ever where they're like, can we Can we just kind of be like, okay? This, this is the company of heroes. And that's another thing of just like, which I've never fully understood is that people depending on like, and as this is also coming from someone who is a big time nintendo fan is that when they fuck up then they should honest they should be taking the test for their fuck ups there's like no you don't need to make excuses for them because if if you keep making excuses for them that's what eventually gets us to fucking into n64 territory where they're like we don't need cd roms and then everything gets fucking destroyed yeah that's Man, how the N64 really ended that <laughs> Nintendo era of dominance. It really did. And then you could also say technically it was GameCube also not doing so hot that they were like, maybe we just don't compete with them <laughs> on the same like ideas. Yeah, and see, and there's the problem is that like Nintendo completely fucked up and nobody took them to task for it fucking up. And then the GameCube is, like, pretty good. Like, I think the GameCube is good, but the damage was done by that point. Exactly. GameCube's solid, but again, it's too late to... And it's, it's too late to bounce back, because the N64, for all the nostalgia you have for it, the N64 was objectively shitty. It was a very shitty console that had some of the greatest games on there. That doesn't change the fact That's that it... That's a very counts. good way to put it. Exactly. It, it, it was a complete trash console that happened to have some of the best games ever made Exactly. It. It, it, it Nothing was... to do with the console themselves. It could have been on any console, and they would have been great. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that, that's always been the like, idea. I guess we're... Yeah, and then I get because they're like, well, I guess we're fucked because these other consoles are way better than ours. Let's just start making stupid gimmick shit forever from now on. And that's and... what they do. That's true. And it works out for them. Sometimes their it gimmicks works out great for them. The Wii sold 700 shit zillion copies. They created... The category shit zillion for how many Wii's were sold because they didn't have a number for it. 
Yeah, and they did what Sega wasn't able to do, which is which is what the thing that they've always cared about, which is that they just want to have their own hardware for stuff. They have the the dumbest like so. Th- this is something that you can totally tell that it's something that I feel is a company wide policy because when the 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 SNES Classic and I think the Nintendo Classic came out, they completely redid I think some of the emulation for it. But then when you look at the Sony the PS One Classic, they didn't. They just used something that already existed, and people were like. Oh man, Sony being so lazy when it was actually like Nintendo didn't need to do what the fuck they did. It was a waste of time. Yeah, there was really no need for it. And like there was no need for it. But they did it just because they want to say that they did it, and that's always been a thing of theirs, which is why they always have been hesitant to go like third party because it's like, well, no, we want to control what the fuck our console does, and we can't be in dictation of that if someone else is making the console. So they've just been defiantly going like, <laughs> whatever, we'll continue doing whatever the hell we want. And it keeps it's... working out because they have Mario and Zelda, <laughs> yeah. and that's why. And they actually do have uh, the people behind making those games are also fantastic in making those games. Like the actual, it's the business side of it does something that's different, but also the designers are actually able to help come up with the idea. So either way, they're able to survive something like that, whereas opposed to something like Sony where when uh, they were writing the highest high they ever had with PS2, and then they come out and say, by the way, I have made it to this guy who I don't like his stance at all. Oh my god, he looks like he's trying to take you out for a drink. He looks like the uh, the uh, the father of Buzz Lightyear that no longer talks to Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, I have a son who's a spaceman. How about we come back to my place and have, <laughs> have some drinks, huh? He looks like the father of Buzz Lightyear who became gay and now Buzz Lightyear won't talk to him anymore. <laughs> well, that's a lot of implications on Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'll, I'll say it. Buzz Lightyear's a homophobe. I'll say it. Hmm. I think that's possible. Do you think Woody isn't? Then is that why that's they're like the bird at Ernie? Like they have <laughs> different yeah, ideas. I, I, think, I think Woody is accepting of everyone, and Buzz is like, no, 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 no. He's like, no, nope. not natural. Go with Christ, bro. <laughs> not in my space command. How am I gonna have to fight this fucking thing? I'm gonna guess it's gonna be Kamehameha him to death. That is I, generally how it seems to go. I don't. How the fuck do I fight this thing? He's eating you. Gross. Oh, do I escape? Oh, I escape. I'm dumb. I'm gonna get yeah. out of here. Uh, but the idea is, of course, is that you need to hold companies accountable when they fuck up, otherwise they don't learn from their fuck-ups. Oh, this is how you beat them. Oh, that's clever. Oh, you freeze them, and then you just beat the shit out of them. Alright. That looks like a really uninteresting and boring mechanic. It is, but I do like the fact that they're kind of following the same path of um, what they did in Dragon Ball, <laughs> of how to beat them. It doesn't make for a very good fight, but I also think it's kind of cool that they did that. I think it would be potentially a cool fight if it wasn't just standing next to the fucking other side of the room and punching the wall. <laughs> no, I I agree on this one. Ah, it reminds you me of bastard. Like, <laughs> oh, they fucked me it's on like that one. From Zelda, I don't remember which Zelda, but you know the ones where you have to break like the um the curtains so the light shines in. And you got to burn them. Yes, yes, I do remember but that. But this one. is not the right uh, venue for that style. Why it's... does he have a room sweeping attack? What do you do? I don't know. That's the, that's the idea. I guess that's how he's going to be able to win. But it doesn't matter because I fucking ice this fool. <laughs> All really? right, he's next. Oh, he's going to murder Buzz Lightyear's father. Now give me back the mayor. Otherwise, I'll send you. Find out where he's going to send him to next time. And then we'll also continue t- talking about Nintendo and everything else. Goodbye. Yes, I wasn't done shitting on Nintendo. 